Welcome to District 99 Lunchtime Live. I'm Hank Thiele, the superintendent of District 99, and welcome to our monthly update of things going on around the district. Uh, today, uh, something that's been talked about a lot in the community lately is the protesters that have shown up at North and South High. We'll talk a little bit about that. Uh, superintendent's goals were passed at the Monday night board meeting, as well as new courses for the following school year. And I'll provide a quick master facility plan update. We'll have some time for Q&A. And then uh, the next Lunchtime Live will be January 30th, and we expect to have a lot of master facility plan updates, a mid-year update at that point. Uh, one of the things that I'd like to address that's been talked about a lot in the community over the last few weeks is recent protesters that have shown up at both North and South High before school. Uh, it's happened for a couple of weeks now. Um, and uh, one of our biggest concerns, obviously, is student safety as they enter the building, especially at North High, where there can be a lot of congestion crossing Main Street as there's protesters out there. The protesters are remaining on public property and they have First Amendment rights. It's been a great teachable moment for our students to talk through uh, that situation, how that works. However, we've also had a very strong staff present, administrators, teachers, staff, security personnel, along with uh, our local police and representatives of the village have been there as well every morning just to make sure that everybody's safe, all the rules are followed, and that there's any support if we should need it for any reason. Um, so real big focus on student safety during that time, especially at North High with Main Street there. We've been very concerned about traffic and those kinds of things, but so far everybody has been responsible and uh, we've kept everybody safe. and. Uh, truthfully, the kids are kind of getting used to it. It's kind of lost its shock and awe at this point. So uh, we'll continue to keep an eye on that situ situation and work through it. But a huge thank you to the Downers Grove Village and the Downers Grove Police for all the support that they've given us uh, working through uh, those situations. Uh, on Monday's board meeting, uh, superintendent's goals were passed for this year. Earlier this year, we had the district goals that were approved. And what these are, a lot of the monitoring things that the board looks at uh, to make sure that we're progressing on our goals. Uh, really, these things are there to support the four domain areas that we're working on as a district. But the areas that uh, for myself, and then this is the administrative cabinet as well, that we're working through is reporting out on improvements of student performance, improving our academic and physical environment of, of our schools, reviewing and revising a strategic plan, and then reviewing and revising the vision of initiative, uh, innovative learning practices. Those are, these all span kind of a five-year time period. So, uh, and they're really, as I said, focused on us reporting out to the board and the community on how we're doing in these areas. Moving on, one of the other uh, key things that happened in Monday's board meeting is we approved new course proposals for the next school year. Uh, an advanced theater craft design. We already have a theater craft design program. This would allow students to kind of take that to the next level. It feels more like an independent study in some ways, but uh, for students that are thinking that that's a future pathway or career pathway for them, gives them a very high level, in-depth dig into that topic. And then we're starting to look at some more of our STEM offerings and uh, some Project Lead the Way offerings. So that's where this Principles of Biomedical Research comes in. And uh, for students thinking of going into biomedical engineering or those kinds of fields, this will give them a taste of what happens there. And then for students that really wanna dig into a science area and look into how the research project works within science, uh, we're going to be offering innovations in STEM research, which is really students pick a problem and they dig in and they research it and they propose solutions and it really mirrors the type of research that happens out in the field. So three new offerings coming to both schools next year. Master facility plan, uh, we continue to update uh, you on the progress of this. Uh, really what's been going on for the last month is some work around what the exteriors are going to actually look like as we move forward. You see one of our draft images of how uh, one of the corners at South might change as a result of this. Um, all of these plans are going to Downers Grove uh, planning and zoning, and then over the next few months, we'll work through those processes as well. 
Um, we're looking at the learning commons, which is that biggest change in the middle of our schools that impacts our libraries. And a lot of the moving classrooms and our classrooms that are being most impacted as a result of this are some of our classrooms that are targeted for some of our most high need students, for our multi-need students and our life skills students. Uh, we're really focusing on those classrooms first to provide them the physical environment that they need to help support them better. Um, really, as I keep reminding you, construction will start in the spring of 2019 and continue for three years after that. With it's starting to look like the busiest summer and period of time will be starting in the summer of 2020 and through the 2021 summer. That chunk of time is going to be the busiest across the district. If you go to csd99.org slash MFP, you can see all kinds of details on this including subscribing to Facility Fridays, which is our weekly newsletter about what's going on around the district. You can be the first to know as we're uh, releasing information constantly about uh, the planning that's going on and eventually it'll be about the building that's going on. So this is the point in uh, Lunchtime Live where we see if anybody that's tuning in has any questions. And I'm seeing no, that we don't have any tuning in right now, or well, we might have people tuning in, but we don't have people asking questions. So uh, you can always send us questions through the website and hop on there. And if you ever wanna know anything, we're very accessible and, and uh, happy to answer questions that people have. That being said, uh, it's the holiday week, we're in finals. Today's the first day of finals. Right about now, our kids are finishing up. I think they're in their last final of the day right now. Uh, then we have two more days of that and then we're off for the next couple of weeks and head into the second semester uh, of January in January. So uh, hopefully we'll see you back here on January 30th at noon and we'll share a lot about uh, the master facility plan with the mid-year update at that point. Thank we, just, we just received oh. a question, do we believe in strengthening policies regarding teacher-student harassment? Well, our policies... Would open the district up to liability. Our but policies? Do we believe that by strengthening our policies of harassment would open the district to liability by implicitly admitting the policies were not strong enough to begin with? Is this why you have not revised the policies? Well, our policies were revised last year. Uh, we use a uh, statewide organization called Press, and they make policy updates based on changes in law. We went through a review of those policies as well as a review with the policy committee of the board last year to make sure that all of our policies met the letter of the law and were following best practice. And uh, there were revisions made last year to come in line with the law, um, and, and they have been. So that recent review of policy shows that we're following best practice. So uh, there's no need for revisions at this point, but we have taken a look at them. So uh, I don't think uh, my team is telling me there's no further questions there. So thanks for tuning in and uh, hopefully we see you next week. Happy New Year or next month. Happy New Year and see you then.